hello everyone and welcome to my channel for today's video today i'll be showing you how to fry up some bacon very clean and fast without needing to watch it and turn it around and having your whole kitchen splattered full of bacon fat so look how delicious they turned out and they're straight and crisp so let's get going i'll show you how to do it We will start with lining a baking sheet with parchment paper. Make sure it's long enough and the edges are wide enough. And I always use a thicker cut of bacon and when I buy it, I make sure I choose the package that has the most meat and less fat on it. So we will just lay them flat on the baking sheet just like that. The reason why we want to make sure the parchment paper is long and wide is so when the bacon is cooking, the extra grease that will be coming out of it doesn't leak underneath the parchment paper onto our baking sheet. It will be a mess and we can avoid that. So make sure the parchment paper is standing up on the edges. Then preheat your oven to 400 Fahrenheit and we'll cook the bacon about 15 minutes to 25 minutes depends on your oven and how dark and crisp you want your bacon. If you want it a little more softer, reduce the cooking time. And here is our bacon all fried and looking good. So I always use a few paper towels and place the bacon on top of the paper towels into a plate. That way the extra grease will soak into the paper towel and won't stay on the bacon. Wow! And just check the bacon out. It looks so good. Like, you wouldn't even say that half of this is fat. It looks so nice and crisp and crunchy and your sandwich or whatever you're making is just screaming for that kind of a bacon. And it has cost me no attention at all. It cooked by itself in the oven, no grease splattering all over, so very good. Try cooking your bacon next time just like this and you won't do it any other way. If you like this little bacon hack, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe to my channel and you'll be the first to see all the new recipes coming. And thank you for joining me in my kitchen today.